Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so today is going to be the um, Earl of Wessex, Prince Edward. So we'll see how that goes. Is he Earl or Duke? We're going to find out. I'll tell you right now. I'm going to read it. So I had a, uh, someone asked for uh, an update on the uh, Earl of Wessex. So uh, here we go. I'm just going to, it's uh, less than a page here. Uh, so in 1964, um, he was born at Buckingham Palace and named Edward Antony Richard Lewis, Prince Edward now, the Earl of Wessex was born on the 10th of March. He's the youngest child of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. And then at birth, he was the third in line of succession to uh, the British throne, which currently he's 13th in line. So in uh, 1972, Edward studied at Heatherdown Stool, uh, School Heatherdown School, and earned his A-levels at Gordonston uh, before spending six months of his gap year as a house tutor and junior master at the Wanganu, I'm going to say collegiate school in New Zealand. So six months in New Zealand in his gap year. Now in 1986, he graduated from Jesus College at the University of Cambridge with a Bachelor of Arts um, in History. And then in 1987, he dropped out of the commando course uh, after having completed one third, uh, so four months of the 12 month training. You know what, that's talking about a uh, time in the uh, Royal Marines. I've got this misordered here. So it was in 1987 that he dropped out and so it must have been just a few months before that that uh, he was in the Royal Marines and he worked as a theater production assistant uh, after that uh, before assisting in uh, television producing. So he went in the Marines, didn't work, got four months out of a 12 month period and he, he bummed out and then he went to work as a theater production assistant and then TV producing, uh, assisting in that. And later, But later he formed his own company called Ardent Productions. Now in 1994, Edward met Sophie Reese Jones who then was a public relations executive with her own firm. Okay, so in 1999, Edward was made Earl of Wessex. I guess that's when he married. Uh, yep, Sophie Reese Jones. They wed at St. George's Chapel at Windsor, Windsor Castle. And on his wedding day, uh, he was created, let's see, Earl of Wessex with the subsidiary title of Viscount on the wishes of the Queen. And he will be a Duke of Edinburgh upon the death of the Queen. However, the title has currently been inherited by Prince Charles, and it's his decision. So now he has two children. There's Lady Louise Windsor, and the son is James the Viscount Severn. And then in 2002, he stepped down from Ardent Company to devote full time to working, to being a working member of the royal family, and he holds patronage over 70. So these cards are the ancient Italian tarot. These are Los Scarabio cards, and um, they're very interesting. What happens here, if you're used to, they harken back to like the 15th century, the mid 1400s, where um, uh, tarot is, is, is supposed to have uh, originated. And uh, the guidebook that comes with these is not too difficult to read, although the writing is kind of small, but it does come in several different languages. So uh, you can look that up and see uh, if your language is here, if it's not uh, English is your first language. Um, so it's a useful little guidebook, although, although generic. And uh, the cards themselves are beautiful, actually. The backs of the cards are nice. The size of them is, is useful. And then, but the, you'll see here that the divination of these cards, uh, you really have to know uh, your Rider weight system to make sense out of a lot of these cards. The court cards and the major arcana are not too hard to figure out that, what they are and who they are. But uh, some of these uh, other cards, you know, it really takes a, being familiar with the deck and knowing your uh, system that you're going to use to uh, um, to come off as, as if you know what you're saying about these cards. So there's that. So, and you know, these cards were originally created uh, for playing a game called Tarachi, I guess is how that's pronounced originally. And they sort of uh, became uh, divination cards later on. So I like to... And I have a thing about my cards is that I really don't like them to come out upside down because I'm not confident in my divination of upside down cards. But so that can be an issue with some of these because you don't really know. And I guess it doesn't matter with these if they come out inverted or not. But um, so that's what you've got. If you're thinking about getting these cards, um, that's what you're going to uh, deal with there. So Edward, Edward, Edward. 
Prince Edward, what's going to happen with you? It looks like you're there at just the right time to um, pick up slack from Harry and Meghan. And uh, didn't you do something similar to Harry? You married someone who had experience in the world, uh, you know. And so what better uh, route for you? You finally got smart after trying to do thing, a few things on your own and found somebody who could do it for you. And she said, you know what? We better just be working royals. <laughs> that looks like the best gig we've got. So, Edward, what's going to happen to you? 13th in line to the throne. This is way down there. We'll never see that, I think, hopefully. And we'll take uh, six cards right off the top for Edward. One, two, three, four, five, and then way over here, six. Put these away for the last part of this full Celtic cross. And we'll see what is the signifier card for Prince Edward. The signifier card, ah, the devil. That's interesting. Why is it that? I don't get the impression uh, of you uh, as that, but um, that is it. And the, what the devil means is being chained to lesser intentions, uh, taking advantage of the situation, uh, looking for the easy way out. Huh, that's interesting. Maybe some Brits, um, this makes sense to them. But the challenge to this devil is, ah, the Nine of Cups, which is where you just got everything, you know, that you could want. This is wishes being fulfilled. So... Yeah, if you've got this devilish instinct and you've got everything you want, your wishes will be fulfilled, that doesn't sound uh, like it's going to leave you in a good place. So the base of this reading then is the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is a broken heart. So yeah, I would imagine if you're on this trip that a broken heart uh, is inevitable. The um, past to this was the Queen of Spades. So the Queen of Spades is the Queen of uh, uh, Law, uh, Justice, um, probably Rules. And uh, so that was the past. So that has to be mom saying, look, uh, we're going to straighten this out. And the way we're going to do it is up here in the sky is where this is the death card, the old Trudici. So this is the end of this cycle, young man. We're going to put you on an honest path and get something uh, productive out of you. So, and then the likely uh, outcome of this first part is the Nine of Wands, which is a uh, feeling embattled, uh, really. Uh, you know, just a lot on your plate but you know what you're gonna pick yourself up and go a little bit further and then the last four cards of this for Prince Edwards the self of Prince Edward right now right now what's the self what was the name of that there used to be a joke that we told when I was a kid there you got um, Prince Edward cigars came in a little tin can and they would say what was it do you have Prince Edward in a can and someone would say yeah and said we well, better let him out <laughs> so the self of uh, Prince Edward right now is the uh, Knight of Wands. And so, okay, the Knight of Wands is some plan, some action, some motion, some power. So it looks like he's taking, uh, you know, he's taking it on the uh, on the chin and getting about his business with this uh, Wands, making plans. Uh, the environment that that's in is going to be the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is really having to step carefully. So it all kind of ties together, really, having a lot on your plate and really having to be careful about how you go about it. But, I mean, you can get it done. And then the Hopes and the Fears for this is the um uh what is this the page the page of uh, pentacles fantasy dinari so the page of pentacles and so the hopes in this is that you can get something started finally that's going to be valued to you uh, in the long run because by the time your brother gets uh, latched in there you may be cut off completely and then the likely outcome for all of this is going to be ah Mate, and you may you guys may notice this this is my intro card on my video my entrance video but uh, this is the fool starting out on a new journey, and uh, that's exactly uh, where you are right now, just making a clean break from the past and starting on a new journey forward. So I don't know if any of that makes sense. People who live in, in uh, London or Britain or England can uh, you know, let me know how this works out. But uh, what I got here this for the self of uh, Prince Edward, what's up with you now, is that he's a devil, but that uh, he's uh, challenged by uh, you know, wishes fulfilled. So yeah, that's a bad combination. And... Um, the um, basis of the reading was a broken heart, three swords. Uh, the past of the reading was the uh, Queen of Spades. Mom uh, put down some rules and some justice there. And uh, up in the sky, that was the end. So this is the death card. So that was the end of that cycle. Something new is getting ready to start. And uh, it shows up as the Nine of Wands, which is a big, heavy load in battle, but you can you can get it done. And then you show up as the self, uh, as the um, Nine of, of Wands, getting, getting your plans together, okay, making things happen. Uh, still challenged as the Seven of wands you know having a lot on your plate but 
again, you can get it done. And then the uh, hopes of the fears are the uh, page of coin. You know, you want to establish a, so a solid foundation of worth for the rest of your life with your family and the uh, likely outcome is that this is a new journey and here you go and uh, a new journey is always a positive thing I think so that's what I got what did you get I'm Mark my journey through tarot tomorrow's another day stop by we'll do it again ciao for now